Oh yeah, this has been uh, a while. Um, this is going to be a DVD and Blu-ray update. I'm sorry if I haven't replied back to a lot of comments. I've been busy over the last couple of months. We work really busy. Um, this is uh, this is a big DVD Blu-ray update. I'm going to try to go through as quick as I can. Again, I'm sorry about comments and stuff. I will try to get back to them. There's a few films, uh, some good films I've seen. There's some real shit films I've seen. Um, the first stuff, I'll get this out of the way just quickly. This is St George's Day, oh, about a group of hooligans um, planning some sort of some sort of a major heist in Germany. It's such a such a terrible film. I thought like Neil Maskell was kind of walking away from these sort of films now, trying to further his career. Actors like Charles Dance, when you see someone like Game of Thrones and Vincent Reagan, you're, you're known from 300 and. I know him from a, from a lot of other things, but that's probably people most remember him. They don't deserve to be in shit like this. You can almost feel the sort of horrible sort of BNP type undertones kind of coming through the screen. It's just, oh, it's just horrible, horrible, terrible shit film. Um, right, I picked up uh, Lovely Molly. Haven't a chance to see this yet. Um, I hear this is okay, so I want to get around to it. I picked up um, Livid. I've wanted to see this for a while. Um, really love Inside. I thought Inside was a hell of a good film. Um, unique spin on the vampire myth. Yeah, that should be good. I saw that I was really, really enjoyed this film. I thought that the tagged on ending was a bit, bit kind of shit, but the packed. I thought this was a really, really good film. I thought it was well directed. Had a few kind of creepy moments. Good storyline, kind of original storyline, not kind of a. Um. Not the kind of usual kind of fare, I thought it was really good. Now, coming to the, now the next horror film, the worst thing is, I, I've seen this get good reviews, and I, I just can't believe it. I, I was reading Empire the other day, and The Hobbit, which I've seen a fair few times, and I absolutely love it, I'm a big Tolkien kind of fan, gets 4 out of 5, and this film gets 4 out of 5 as well, which just, it just blows my mind. In VHS, this apparently, apparently the, the scariest, rawest horror movie of the year, Rolling Stone. They've obviously got their planters in here, they've obviously paid these people to say this. Phenomenal Dread Central. I don't normally listen to a word they say, to be honest. Prepare to be scared, Twitch, I never heard of them. Um, it's the, the horrible sort of um, the point of view type kind of films, the old camera. Um, I, I, honestly, I, I've never been so kind of bored or, or so kind of annoyed watching it. You know, this, you feel kind of no, no sort of empathy with the characters. Which, I mean, you know, it's not unusual kind of films like this, but... I mean, the first story... I, I, as I said, I'm not really sure who directs the first story. That's the one with the sort of the vampire-type woman with the sort of the frat boys. So terrible, so shit. I hate jerky camera work. For me, it's an excuse for, like... You know these sort of films? It, it, it's like kind of... I know about Ty West, so I'm going to get to him in a minute, because I think he did the worst um, story in this. I know he, he, he has got talent direction-wise, but some of the others, I think they just kind of compensate with all this kind of... Just crap kind of thing at the screen, it just, it, it, it was just awful. The second story, Ty West, I mean, that, that was just, just horribly shit. The third one, some people at a lake, that was terrible. The only, the one that was least shit was probably the Exorcism one, but that was bad. I, I can't believe this has got good reviews, man. I just, scary, I, I, I was bored to death. It's actually, it's one of the worst films I've seen in ages. You know, the, the, this whole sort of shot on kind of camera kind of style stuff, you know, it, you know the the point of view type thing, the sort of the... the seriously, this film kind of makes Paranormal Activity, the, the second one, which I truly hate, like a masterpiece, it's that bad. Horribly shit film, man. Um, I watch this around Christmas time as well, I do like kind of Christmas movies. I hear this is, I mean, I, I, I hear like a lot of Americans kind of like it. it's big kind of in the States, Christmas story. I'm going to see why they like it, it's a really good film. Really kind of witty and stuff. It was it was really really good. I like Darren McGavin as well. Um, I picked up this is one of two of some um, two kind of um, Warner Archive releases. I got it's Dream West with a Richard Chamberlain who I do like. I like him as an actor. This has got a great cast as well. Rip Torn, Ben Johnson, Nesh Murray Abraham. Rip Torn's really good as um, oh not Jim Bridger. So he's a mountain man. I'll try to remember his name in a minute. I'm probably gonna forget it. Um, but yeah, it's about Richard Chamberlain plays John C. Fremont. I'm kind of familiar with him because I'm quite a American. You know, I like my um, I, I like history in general, but you know, I, I like um, American Civil War. 
Um, I, I remember him like he, he was at a few kind of battles during the Civil War, but um, this is his early kind of life um, going across um, like the Sierra Nevadas, going towards California. It, it's really, really good. Really, really good. Um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It, it was it's it's really good, really good um, mini series. Um, I picked up this for a laugh. I picked up kind of two of these, two of these kind of daft kind of disaster kind of films. Um, Earthquake, Charlton Heston. I tell you, this is oh god, this is so funny. There's so many funny deaths in this. Um, really kind of daft and campy over the top. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. George Kennedy's funny as well. Um, now this one, two minute warning. Um, it's about a sniper at um, is it the Super Bowl? I oh, know it's some sort of um, American football championship game, but um, the first hour and forty minutes are just terrible, just absolute coma inducing. But the last ten, fifteen minutes where he actually starts killing people, I, I, there's actually some pretty decent deaths. It's uh, it's pretty funny. John Cassavetes turns up in it as well. Um, this is another one I picked up. This is the other kind of Warner archive. Uh, it's Avenging Angel with Tom Berenger. I, I like a lot of the Turner kind of um, um, Turner home movies. Um, Tom Berenger plays um, a member of which which group is it? It's within um, it's about the Mormons settling in uh, Utah, and he plays um, basically a bodyguard of Brigham Young. He's played by Heston. He's trying to fall an assassination attempt. It's very kind of pro Mormon, but it's um. It's pretty good, I have to say. I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I picked up Rev Season 2 with um, Tom Hollander, which is Season 1 I really enjoyed. Um, I like Tom Hollander as well. Um, now, I'm trying to think here. Right. I picked up, oh god, this is great for a laugh. I picked this up for about £10. This is the Doug McClure Fantasy Adventure Triple Bill. Comes with the land that time forgot, which is just terrible. Um, at the Earth's core is a, is a great. He's he's really funny. It's funnily awful. Um, that's got Peter Cushing in, saying lines that are well beneath him. But um, Warlords of Atlantis, which I thought was going to be the worst one, was actually the best one. Um, oh, it's got that guy who blew his head off. Oh, the really he always plays a piece of shit in something. Oh, I can't think of his name. He, he was like in Jack the Ripper, the Michael Caine one. He was in Last Valley. He was in. Um, the Devils, I can't think of his name, but um, yeah, that was actually pretty good. There were some decent set pieces in it. Um, I find Doug McClure kind of a you can't really take him seriously as a hero type thing, but um, yeah, I picked that up pretty cheap, but and that, that was pretty good. Um, right, I picked up, I went on a massive kind of um, Shaw Brothers kind of binge, really happy with some of my purchases as well. I picked, I picked these up from DDD House. Um, Bells of Death. I mean, they're all kind of the sort of the similar thing of the one man kind of run, running a mock game revenge. Um, three men kind of murder this guy's uh, just absolutely lay waste to his family at the beginning. He goes on the war path. They're all like just most of these films I picked up. They're all great. They're all you know thoroughly entertaining. That that's really good. The Bells of Death. That was really really good. Um, this was a real favourite. This is. Um, the boxer from Shantung, oh god, the ending of this is just absolutely amazing. Um, who have we got on this? Yeah, David Chang's great in this. I think it's Chen Quan Tai, like um, the main kind of guy. Now, I've got him in something else as well, another film. That, that is an absolutely awesome film. Um, Deadly Duo with David Chang and um, T Lung. Oh, now, which one's this? Yeah, this is the one where they're, they're trying to protect them. Um, their lord seriously the, <laughs> the body count in this is just absolutely insane I, I i can't begin to tell you hundreds die so entertaining this was a great film this is this also stars um um is it kui chin hung yeah um killer constable that's an amazing kind of um amazing gore near the end oh god the, the ending is absolutely amazing some of these films are they could be boring in places during the early parts but the endings are just so incredibly entertaining, I can't begin to tell you. Um, heroic Ones, T Lung and David Chang again, this is amazing. This is a bit of a sombre ending, really took me by surprise. It, it, it's um, the most sombre of, of, one of some of the Short Brothers ones I've seen so far. Um, Savage Five, T Lung, um, David Chang again. Oh, and this also stars um, your man, oh, I've completely forgot his name, the guy from Killer Constable, and uh, Boxham Shantung. 
Um, yeah, Chen Quan Tate. This was this was really good. Also saw Danny Lee in it as well. Kind of got this sort of the um, Seven Samurai type vibe about it, like um, kind of defending a town against like bandits and that. That that's really really good. Oh, this one is awesome. The ending of this this one is absolutely incredible. Oath of Death. Oh, I can't begin the, the ending of this. The final fight is just it just blows my mind how brilliant it is. That would that is a really good one. I, I've tried to go for the most kind of violent ones. Um, now, Swarm, Bro Swarm Brothers, now, this is uh, from the Legendary Collection. This was this started off really well in places, but the ending, man, was so poor. Definitely one of the... I've, I've been on, like, a Hong Kong binge for the past kind of couple of months and that, but this was one of the most poorest endings I've seen. It's a shame, man, because it was... Um, up to that point, it, it was really good. Now, I picked two of the... Oh, this is just so great. So brilliant. Now, which one is this? Now, this is a bloody fight. This is... um. Norman Chu, you know him from um, Hong Kong Godfather, and he's been in a few of them. Um, I can't even really remember what this is about, but th the real kind of highlight is when one of the bad guys, some girl, little girl, ball hits off the car, jumps out, slaps her, beats up the dad, then runs over the pregnant mother. And then at the end of the film for the finale, it seems it has um, the Halloween theme. At the end, the old Michael Myers theme, uh, for reasons best known to themselves, I've no idea. It's so crazy that no one gives a fuck like Hong Kong when they do mad films. You'll never see the likes again, which is a real shame. Um, oh, which one's this? Profiling Anger. Oh my god, this film is just so insane. Uh, just Most of these are... What I love about these are Hong Kong releases, they literally tell you the whole film on the back. They spoil everything. I can't. I can't actually really remember what it's about, but I know. I, I loved it. It's crazy. I, I've been on a real kind of binge of them. Right. I also picked up on Blu-ray. These are some of the Blu-ray releases. This might go on quite a while. Um, Odessa file. John Voy. Awesome. Awesome. Really kind of well-made. Um, Seventies um, film. Um, tracking down an um, an SS captain. Um, really, really good. Played by Maximilian Shell. He's Maximilian Shell. He's great in it. John Boy's really good. Um, the ending's fantastic as well. There's a, a great twist in it. I, I don't want to spoil it, but it's um, it's really good. They don't make films like this anymore, man. It's, it's such a great film. I I think if you like Boys from Brazil and that um, and Marathon Man, this is this is a film for you. You'll like it. Um, I picked this up from Screen Factory. I, I was impressed with this. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's Death Valley. It uh, stars the young kid out of um, Christmas Story, and I think he's in oh, he's in a uh, what is it? Pumpkinhead, um, yeah, Stephen McCarty, who I do like, I'm familiar with him. Really, really good film, great transfer as well. Uh, Screen Factory deserve your, your support, you know, they're, they're bringing out some great releases. I mean, what they're bringing out in the next kind of couple of months is is more than what most horror, horror kind of, let's say kind of Blu-ray companies that kind of focus on horror would ever do, you know. I mean, of course, you know when you compare it to Arrow or something, God. Um, right, I picked up the Digibook of Last of the Mohicans, this is one of my... All time favourite films, absolutely amazing soundtrack as well. Love the fight scenes and I love it when they're coming out of um, the fort and they get ambushed. It's absolutely awesome. Empire of the Sun, a film that I haven't seen in so long. I always remember there's a scene that really kind of got to me in this and I can't remember. It's one of those scenes that you say to yourself, there's something that really kind of bothered me in that film. And I can't remember what it is. It, it, it didn't bother me, I'll, I'll say that I, I, I kind of got... Um, I can't tell there's a sad scene in this. I can't remember what it is. Um, what else did I pick up? I picked up absolutely amazing. Patton, George E. Scott. It's one of those films that I've, I've seen in part. I've never had a chance to see it fully. But George E. Scott, he, he deserves... I mean, I don't know who else was up against him for the um, the Oscars. I mean, he he turned it down. He, I don't, he, um, he didn't go to the Oscars. He didn't want it because he... He saw the Oscars as kind of like too much kind of back slapping and stuff like that and kind of underhanded stuff, stuff so, he, so he didn't want the Oscar but he's so amazing in this film. Um, this is the one with a better transfer as well. Carl Molden as well as um, Omar Bradley is amazing. Amazing war, war scenes and battle sequences in this as well. So sad what happened to Patton man, he didn't deserve to um, you know, die the way he did. You know, um, I picked up the steel books of Lifeboat. That's a great steel book that is. Um, Last weekend, I'm gonna try to get through this a bit quicker because I don't know how long I've got left. 
Uh, old boy, really love that still book. Really nice release. Love old boy. I don't think anyone doesn't like old boy, you know. Um, I've been waiting for this. I, I, I was. Most of these were coming down on Amazon cheap, but Rumblefish was constantly at like the eighteen pound mark, and then I eventually got it for a tenner. Rumblefish is a. F it's uh, yeah, it's, it's a great film. I haven't seen it in a in a hell of a long time, but. And the last of the still books I picked up is a uh, double, inde double indemnity. All these still books are great, man. They really have great releases. I picked up as well uh, Dark Knight trilogy, the German one. Comes with um, three steel books inside. Um, I, I, I enjoy the Batman films. Um, Batman Begins and Dark Knight are great. Dark Knight Rises is great for about 80% of it. I found the last 15 20 minutes, man, poor. I mean, I suppose everyone's seen it. I absolutely hated Catwoman killing Bane, man. Just fucking sucked. And then just the, the film never recovered from that. The way they relegated Bane to just kind of a. Just a, a second rate villain. It was. Um, it kind of irritated me a lot. I have to say, it kind of really bothered me. Because it was the best thing about that film. I went on a massive. Um, criterion kind of splurge. That's my personal opinion on that. I, I, I liked about 90% of it, but. I just hated the way they killed off Bane, I thought it was terrible. Um Anatomy of a Murder. This was this is my um Barnes and Noble kind of thing. It's um got a lot of these, you know, just for Christmas. Last Sentation of Christ, which is an absolutely great film. Um uh, the Samurai trilogy, which I can't wait to see. Um I I've I've been slowly getting through a lot of these um films. Um Terry Gilliam's Brazil, another film I haven't seen in so long. Rashomon had to wait ages for this. It didn't get sent in like the original kind of um, my order. Uh, Rosemary's Baby. Absolutely love that film. Love the f love the cover art as well. I'm just trying to get to the last of these from my camera and that. If Malcolm McDowell. I love Malcolm McDowell. If is such a great film. Such a weird film. Um, it's great. It's it's uh it's it's a really really good film. I'd, I'd really recommend seeing that. Uh, Three Outlaw Samurai, which I'm going to check. I think I'll watch that back to back with um to the Samurai film I got, and uh, Lahan, which is absolutely incredible. Love that film. And I think I think that might be it. Yes, yeah, save. Now, what I'm really happy with is um I managed to pick up um Shaolin Kung Fu Master Collection. This is the Shaw with a box set. This is really hard to get your hands on. Um, I'm really happy, really happy getting this. I got it for a fairly decent price. I mean, nothing kind of ridiculous. You got sh uh, Five Shaolin Masters, which was great. I watched that. Um, yeah, because five, five Shaolin Masters is a semi sequel to. Oh, did it, did it get done before? It's one. Of, it's one of the films on this. I think it's Shaolin Temple. It's kind of a weird kind of sequel to it, or is it the other way around? I can't remember. I saw those two. Um, Executioners from Shaolin, 36th Chamber of Shaolin, Return to the 36th Chamber, 8th Diagram, Pole Fighter, Disem Disciples of 36th Chamber, and um, Martial Arts of Shaolin. Yeah, and I'm really happy with that. I got that for just under kind of like the 50 quid mark, so I'm really kind of happy. So yeah, that is the end of the update. That's taken a while, but yeah, so... That's the end of the update, and I'll try to get back to comments and stuff. Um, avoid VHS, really shit film. I thought I'd get that in again because it really was, really was a poor, terrible film. But yeah, but there's a lot of films here that you know I, I'd wholly recommend, but that wouldn't be one of them. So yeah, that's the end of the update, and um, I'll be back with an update probably in the same time. I'm kind of busy still, so it'll probably be more like March, April sort of time. So yeah, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you later.